I used to read. I'd write a lot too. Probably because it let me be a different person for a change. I guess I was humbled when the world went to hell before I could finish my novel. Now I'm stuck developing this character, Mordecai, only in my head until I can salvage enough paper worth writing on. If only I would have known back then I wasn't going to have a bed forever. Then I could have learned how to purify water or shoot a gun or something useful. Instead of learning how a well-written metaphor or paradox affects Mordecai's characteristics. He's such a confident and peculiar character with an abnormal fascination of crows and how they relate to death. An obsession telling us he'd survive in a world like this. A character that never truly existed would do a better job at surviving than me. The irony. Say something? Who are you and what are you doing here? Be careful asking questions, old folk like me. I ain't nobody to you. Do old folk like you usually travel alone? Usually, no, no. One might say that old folk like me might have some company. And if that's the case, you better use that revolver of yours. But you ain't. Made up your mind yet, have you, boy? Everything you have on the ground, including that hatchet of yours, or I put a bullet through your skull. So you're gonna shoot me now? I just hope like hell you don't bury me, put flowers on me, or any of that other bullshit. I hate that dainty stuff. After all, who wants? Pretty little things all over their body after they're dead. Nobody. Turn around. Let's go. So you ain't even decided to kill me yet. I mean, who ties somebody up and then shoots them? Nobody. Turn around. Where are you headed? I'm just a scavenger just like you. Just looking for things. Don't mean anybody any harm. Turn around and face me. Look, the way I see it, the situation is it's one of those things, you just leave it the way it was. This is a moment I wish I were writing out. Characters in a book aren't under the same time restrictions. They get to think before making snap decisions. Nothing to you. You don't mean anybody any harm. Just, just let me go. Then me and my company, uh, you'll never see us again. Where's the guarantee that you and your company won't follow me? It's a guarantee got a spot in a place like this. Well, what are you waiting for, boy? Ain't nobody gonna save you. If Mordecai were in my place, would he have shot him by now? It doesn't matter because he doesn't exist. Been a lot of folk in the same spot in this desolate place. I think you could learn a thing or two from those folks. Come on, I've been in your shoes. Not saying I'd do the same thing as you, but I will tell you something. 
shoot them, don't shoot them, don't make any difference. Just don't ask them their name. Because if you do, you'll know their story. It's going to dig at you. And you're going to have a name with that face that you put in the ground. And who wants to know the man they just killed? I didn't think you had the sticks to do it. <coughs> do me a courtesy. Don't leave me here. Take me out and feed me to the crows. <laughs> 